Shandong. Yeah, what is sure. the? Uh, this is another ten dollar Patreon question. If you'd like to ask questions, the, anyway, um, what's the coolest story <laughs> behind something you own? Coolest story. The coolest oh. story. Okay. I bought a. Th- this is in the past, but when I was sixteen, I was still. I, I'm. I, I'm twenty five. I'm still in the midst of this. My Lord of the Rings obsession. <laughs> that they made five hundred replica witch king helmets the witch king the witch king was the lord of the nazgul if you don't know who they are you know they had uh the side of you have seen before too i I, I could list some of the nazgul right now but (laughs) they had this the witch king had this giant helm that you'll see in the movies when uh, the witch king of angmar yes okay the witch king of angmar and he had this giant helmet, and I bought it. And it was something that or I had it bought for me, rather. And mm-hmm. you, when you put it on, it was heavy. Like, it was fucking heavy. It was something that only a mighty man could wear <laughs> while he was fighting. And I went to college, didn't think about it. I just thought, when I go home, my Witch King of Angmar uh, helm will still be <laughs> on its display case above my bed because that's where it was. When I slept in my big bed, I had a king or uh, a uh, queen size bed and it had a big like um, kind of armoire style thing around it, and it had a big shelf behind the bed. And I had my Witch King of Angmar head right there, and I was like, "All right, I don't need to bring that to college. I don't want to turn off the girls right away. I'll slowly introduce them to my <laughs> Lord of the Rings like, obsession." I can just imagine sure. you like like bringing the girl back to your dorm room, and be like, like you like put it on and be like, yeah. hey, <laughs> I'm the Witch King. She's like, I just, think I should I should grab my pepper spray really discreetly right now. <laughs> <laughs> but that was basically it. I had that that helmet. I went to college. I came back. Uh, I didn't. If it happened before this, I didn't. I didn't notice it. But I came back that winter break, my freshman year, and I went into my room and I looked up there and I didn't really think of anything of it. I wasn't looking for it, and you know, slept a couple nights before I realized, like, man, like, Where's the I had king? something over here. I had a witch king helmet. Yeah, where the hell is my witch king of Angmar helmet? I'm like the witch. And so king. I went and asked my younger brother and was like, where, where is my witch king helmet? You dick. You know where it is, <laughs> asshole. And he was like, oh, yeah, my, my, uh, my, my friend was playing with that. I don't know where it is. Maybe in your closet. And I was like, maybe in my closet. Okay. So I go back. I check my closet. I find my Witch King of Angmar, one of 500. <laughs> this isn't one of those bullshit like, oh, we'll make a new one like, and, and call it one of 500 every two months to trick idiots into buying it. This was an actual one of 500 because there are very few people willing to pay $700 oh for a God. Witch King helmet. And so <laughs> I got it. I had it there. I went into that closet and I was honestly like distraught when I saw it sitting there totally broken. Totally ruined. All the spines that came out of it, obviously it's some kind of plaster. Yeah, the, the big ones are on the head. It's made of some kind of plaster, but inside it's just a metal bar holding that up, holding that little bit of plaster up. And, like, the three inches between the tip and the bottom part of Every single helmet spike was broken off. So it was just a metal bar going from the helmet ring up into like a weak little pinnacle at the top. And I was I was honestly so fucking upset by that that I I don't think I talked to anyone in my family for a day or two because I was like, how could you have let this happen? <laughs> you know that I love Lord of the Rings and that this was my favorite Lord of the Rings possession. Fuck the Gimli axe and all that. This is my Lord of the Rings obsession. And they let it go by the wayside and they ruined it. And I, oh my God, even thinking about this pisses me off because I wish I still fucking had this. This is something that could have lasted. It could have lasted. I I could have given it to my grandkids and said, hey, you could put it on right now to be autistic in the future. Wear this. Like either, either, either subscribe, donate or get the fuck out.